Okay, hey collective. Um, I went off camera um, to come give you guys a general spread for today, okay? Um, collective, uh, remember you guys, these are this spread is general, okay? So um, for some of you guys, this, this spread could relate to you right now, okay? For others of you, if you look back later on in the future, collective, some of these messages could relate to you then, all right? So um, I need for you guys to accept and receive what's yours today. Whatever's not for you guys, I need for you to leave for the next person, all right? Also, I need for you guys, if you like the content, can y'all please like the video for me, okay? So we're going to go ahead and jump right into these cards for you, okay? Um, the first card we have was Awakening, okay? We have You Are Ascending, okay? Some of you definitely are going through some type of awakening, some type of um, ascension, okay? Okay. Um, we have they are a distraction, okay? So, collective, someone is trying to come in and distract you around your awakening, okay? Your ascension, okay? Um, the next card we have was angel number 999 for release. This is definitely someone you could have had released, all right? Um, we have the one-sided, okay? Yes, some of you guys definitely could have released someone where I feel like the connection was like a one-sided um, situation, okay? Um, this person who you released, okay, I feel like they're trying to come in, okay, while you're extending, while you're awakening, while you're healing, okay, to distract you, okay? This definitely was a one-sided connection. We have the spring. So some of you guys, you definitely could have released this person in the springtime, okay? Um, we have the karmic lesson, okay? And then we have you are worth it, okay? So whoever this person was for you, collector, I feel like you released this person and you, you learned some type of karmic lesson from this person, okay? I feel like you learned some type of self-worth, okay? Because I feel like whoever you were dealing with, you were not getting reciprocated in the connection, okay? Um, this person was not seeing your worth, all right? So some of you guys definitely realized that this person um, just wasn't, you know, giving you the full potential for a connection, okay? So you release this person. Like I said, for some of you guys, you release this person. Um, maybe at, I'm hearing like spring, end of March, going to April for some of you guys, okay? Um, but you learned your lesson. You learned some type of karmic lesson from, from this person, okay? Um, we have you stressing me out by not talking, okay? So this is someone, like I said, this is definitely someone you cut off and stop communicating with, okay? Um, like I said, you realize that this person was just, it was just one-sided, okay? You were giving like 100% and this person wasn't hardly giving you anything, okay? Um, we have Leo out here that could be significant, okay? We have testing your faith and we have the lusting card that flew out. So I definitely feel like the, this connection definitely could have been like a um, like a, a lust like type of connection, okay? Sexual based connection with this person, okay? I feel like this person is definitely going to try to come in and test your faith with some type of lust, okay? I feel like this is a cycle you close out, okay? A lot of you guys I feel like are going through awakening. Some of you guys can be celibate right now, okay? And I feel like this is why this person is coming in and testing your faith three 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 on the clock, okay? Um, but they're coming in with a lot of lust, okay? Um, we have the karmic cycle. Yeah, this is this is some type of karmic cycle that you were in with this person, okay? Like I said, for some of you guys, I feel like this was just like a sexual type connection, okay? Um, we have Capricorn that flew out here that could be significant. We have the letters M S T P. R-A-F-B-N could be significant here. This could be your initials or your person's initials, okay? Um... We have to set some boundaries, okay? So I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you have set some boundaries, but I definitely feel like spirit is wanting you guys to set some boundaries because whoever this person is, they're coming back in, okay? They're coming in with a lot of lust, okay? And I just feel like whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like you guys um, ascended past whatever this connection was, okay? Um, like I said, some of you guys definitely could be refraining from having sex right now, okay? Um, but you're going to definitely have to set some boundaries with this person, okay? Um, we have Pisces out here. Could be significant. We have the don't leave. 
then we have, look, the cycle ending, okay? So this person is not wanting this cycle to end with you guys. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to end things. They don't want you to leave this connection, okay? But this cycle is end. It have already ended. Um, for who I'm speaking to, I feel like you're, you're ascending, okay? Like I said, past this sexual type connection, okay? But this person is not wanting this cycle to end with you guys, okay? Um, we have, they are a distraction that flew out again. Okay, they're coming in to try to distract you. Okay, we have Aries that could be significant here. Okay, we have the set boundaries that flew out again. Okay, so definitely, I feel like this is spirit is telling you guys it, that this person that's coming in, you're gonna have to set some boundaries with this person. Okay, um, because this person is not clicking with this person that you're not um, on that type of level that they're on anymore. Okay. Um, I feel like in the past, some of you guys were okay with just the like sexual type connection. All right. But since you, since you guys are going through some type of ascension and awakening, I feel like that cycle and that situation is done. Five, five, five on the clock. You changed. Okay. Mentally you changed. All right. So spirit is want you guys to set boundaries with this person. Okay. Um, we have the Virgo card that flew out. So it could be a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. Okay. And we have the toxic X card that flew out. All right, so for some of you guys, this could be an ex that's trying to come back in towards you. All right, you could have had some type of toxic situation with an ex, and they're trying to come back in to just to try to distract you. Okay, all right. So um, the next spread that came out for you guys was we have here is the sudden wealth. Okay, we have the receiving a gift. All right, we have the big job promotion. Okay. Excuse me. For some of you guys, you're about to get some type of sudden wealth. I, I feel like you're about to receive some type of gift. For some of you guys, you're going to be gifted some type of big job promotion, okay? Um, excuse me. Um, we have Scorpio out here, okay? So it could be coming from a Scorpio or you're a Scorpio yourself, okay? Um, we have October that flew out here, okay? So for some of you guys, some type of big job promotion could be coming in in the month of October for you, okay? Um, we have the new location and look, we have the distance. So for some of you guys, this could be some type of new location. It could be at a distance. Okay. Um, then where you at now, 717 on the clock. Okay. We have the meeting your needs, but I definitely feel like this new job location, this, this big job opportunity for you is definitely going to be able to meet your needs. I feel like wherever you at right now, collective for some of you guys, the job that you are at now is not meeting your needs. Okay at all financially all right so for some of you guys you're going to be receiving some type of gift to to for some of you guys go to some type of new location maybe be a prom, get some type of promotion something is coming in okay it's going to meet your needs though okay um we have the new job more money okay so for some of you guys this is definitely a new job and it's going to offer you more money okay um the next card we have was, is this what you want, okay? And then we have, this is too difficult, all right? So for some of you guys, I feel like spirit is asking, is this what you want, okay? Because for some of you guys, you're finding like this new this new job for some of you guys, 818 on the clock. For some of you guys, you're going to find like accepting this job promotion or whatever is difficult. For some of you guys, it could be because of the distant thing, okay? at it being a distance okay maybe it's farther away from you know where you stay or where you're working at now okay this is why i feel like for some of you guys you're gonna find, uh, feel like it's too difficult to make a decision okay so this is why spirit is asking is this what you want okay um i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be on the fence about it because of the distance okay um, we have get clear about what you want that flew out. All right. So spirit is wanting you guys to get clear about if you're going to, if you want this job promotion, if you want this gift, I feel like a lot of you guys been manifesting or been praying for some type of new job that offer more money. Okay. But I feel like for some of you guys, when it come in, you're going to question it because it's, you know, further than what you expected is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, we have September that flew out also, okay? So for some of you guys, this offer is going to be coming in in the month of September. And I feel like you're going to have to make a decision in October, okay? So for some of you guys, um, this month, someone's going to offer you some type of big job promotion. It could be at a distance. And I feel like um, 
why October flew out in the, in the top is because I feel like October is when you're going to have to make some type of decision. I feel like the offer is coming in this month, okay? Um, we also have Sagittarius out here that could be significant, all right? So you could be a Sagittarius, but just know, collective, some of you guys got some big job promotion coming in for you guys, okay? I feel like once it come in for some of you guys, you're going to question if you're going to receive it or not. Because, like I said, for some of you guys, I'm picking up the distance. is going to be a big thing for some of you guys, okay? But I feel like um, this month, September 10, 10 on the clock, is when you're going to get this offer. I feel like October is when you're going to have to make some type of decision about it, okay? So that's what I have for you, collective. I love y'all. Bye.